Morning. Welcome back to Country Living with the Harnishes. Earl is here. So we're going to continue on cooking the turkey dinner. Uh, last night I did the rolls. I believe that was episode 31. So if you didn't check that out, please do so. Um, I made some rolls and a loaf of bread. And it appears that the Easter Bunny liked the bread. Because there's a piece missing. Well, turned out pretty good, hey. Okay, and here's my rolls. Look at them, they're juicy. Mm -mm. They're gonna taste some good. Okay, so now it's time to get this bird in the oven. So what I did is I took it out of the package. I rinsed it all off, because that makes the flavor taste better when you get the old blood and stuff off. And I got this fancy little pan here, and it got a little rack in it. And I put some uh, carrots and onions and celery under there, and a little bit of water. And the giblets are down there. And those vegetables, the flavor will come all up through the turkey. So, now this here is a special spice seasoning that my father-in-law, Ron, invented. He's a retired cook, and he can make his turkeys taste really good. So, I'm going to see what I can do. And I'm not allowed to tell you what's in this. This is just the secret stuff. So, whew, mm -mm, smell that. Mm. So, what I'm supposed to do is pour a little of this on my bird and rub it all in. Now, if you have a dirty mind, that might not sound too good. But, this is a family okay, show. So, I'm pouring this all over my bird. Rubbing it all in. This will make it taste some yummy. Oh, I'm making a mess again. I'm good at that. So it doesn't, it doesn't matter if uh, some of that gets down into the juices because we'll use that for the gravy later. So that should, I'll just give her another little splashes for the hell of it. There. Now I should probably wash my hands. They look quite yucky. So, okay, so I got the oven warmed up. I got the bottom rack down as far as it will go, and that will keep the top of the turkey from burning. Okay, it looks nice and cozy in there. Now we'll shut it up. And we'll keep you posted. Okay, we're going to start working on the stuffing. Um, so. I'm going to pour this here fancy stuff that I can't say what it is in there. Get it all, get all that good stuff. Shake, shake, shake. Oh, I'm still dead in there. But that's probably enough. I'm going to turn this on low. I'm going to chop all this here stuff right up. Very carefully. Remember, I'm not a professional vegetable cutter either. As long as I keep my fingers, I'm good. I'll chop it all at once. Good 
mimpit. Like I said before, I'm not a professional vegetable cutter, as you can see. one little piece of onion on the floor okay so now we're gonna fry this all up and then we'll be back with the next the next step of the stuffing so I got this here all fried up I cut all the bread up half a loaf so, I'm going to pour this in here. Dump it in, I guess. It's not very pourable. Get it all out. I'm going to stir it all up. So, I need to moisten this up a little bit. She's a little dry. Supposed to use apple juice, but don't seem to have any. So we're going to use a little bit of chicken broth. Make the bread all nice and moist. Okay, now I'm going to pour it into this here casserole dish. So, in the old days, when I was a kid, the stuffing was always stuffed inside the turkey. But, that's apparently a good way to get food poisoning. So, we're going to do it here in a separate bowl. And I'm just going to push it all down. Give her a good squish. Make it all nice and flat. I think that looks pretty good. And we're going to stick this on, keep the moisture in. And we're going to pop her in the oven. Right beside the turkey. Look at that. Look how yummy that looks already. Okay, we'll be back shortly. Okay, so it's time to baste the turkey. Let's get this 
Bad boy out. Oh, look at them. Mm, yummy. All kinds of nice juices in there. Got it all over my oven mitt. So, Charlie juice. So I got all the vegetables all cut up. I figured everyone knew how to cut up vegetables, so I didn't bother recording that. I am going to start to turn up about 15 minutes before the rest of the vegetables. It takes longer for turnips to cook. So we got the turnip, carrots, and Oh, sorry. Potatoes, turnips, and carrots. <clears throat> so now I'm going to stick the turkey back in the oven. It's coming along good. Okay. So, we'll be back shortly. Okay guys, we got her all done. Potatoes all mashed, carrots, turnips, the stuffing, gravy, fresh rolls from last night. So, I guess now we'll do the fun part. We'll eat it. It's a lot of work, but we got her. Okay, so, we got her all done. If you like our channel, please subscribe, hit like, and share it with your friends. Here's a plate. Dig in.